All right, welcome back to Math Smash. We're looking at division strategies grouping. Okay, so let's get started with our vocabulary. Our first word is dividend. This is the number at the beginning of a division question. Divisor is the second number after the uh, division symbol. And quotient is our answer in a division question. Okay, so shared equally means that every group has the same number of items in it. And groups of is an indication of our divisor. Okay, so we've got here shared equally into groups of five gives you six groups. We don't know how many are being shared equally, but we do know groups of. That key phrase there, groups of, tells you that the number right after is the divisor. And we have six groups. Okay, so here we go. We've got six groups. And we've got five in each group. So I'm going to draw little green dots. Okay, so I've got five and six rows. I'm going to draw a red circle around them. So that gives us six groups. Okay, six groups, five in each group. So draw our division symbol. Our divisor is five. Our quotient is 6, and we count up in sets of 5, and I can see that I've got 30. So, just to check my work, I'm going to multiply 5 by 6. That should give me 30, and yes, it does, so I'm right. Okay, 12 shared equally into groups of, we don't know yet, gives you 6 groups. Okay, well, I've got 12. I'm going to put them into 6 groups here. Okay, so I've got my 6 groups. I've got my dividend divided by, we don't know yet, gives me a quotient of 6. Well, I can see that I've got 2 in each group. So again, I multiply 2 by 6. That should give me 12. I'm doing this to check my work. Yes, 12. Okay, so there's 2 in each group. So that must mean that my divisor is 2. Okay, get ready for your practice questions. You can pause the video here if you want. Or you can write them down, however you want to do it, and then we will check your work. Okay, so something shared equally into groups of two gives you eight groups. Well, again, we don't know, uh, other than the uh, groups of two and eight, we don't know how many we're sharing equally. But we do know, as I said, groups of two, groups of tells you that's our divisor. So 2 is our divisor, 8 is our quotient. Just going to draw a circle around that to remind you. All right. And I'm going to draw my eight groups. And as I said before, we have two in each group. So I've got to put two little red dots in each of my eight groups. OK. And you can see that I've got uh, eight groups. All right. And you can see that our divisor is going to be 2, and our quotient is going to be 8. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 is our answer. Okay, and I multiply the 2 and the 8 out again just to check my work. And you can see that uh, 16 is coming up again, so we've done that correctly. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so something shared equally into groups of three gives you eight groups. Okay, again, we don't know how many are shared equally, but we do know groups of three. Again, groups of tells us that three is going to be our divisor, so I'm going to write that in there. And I can see that I've got eight groups, so I write my eight. All right, now, I'm going to do eight groups. There we go. And in each group, I have to put three. Okay, so there you go, three, 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 three. Okay. And now I make sure that I've got eight groups and I make sure that I've got three in each group. Yes. So now I count up in threes and I can see the 21, 24. So I can see that I got 24. So 24 divided by three is eight. Just to check my work, I'm multiplying by three and eight. And I can see that three times eight gives me 24 or eight times three gives me 24. 
Okay, our next one. 20 shared equally into groups of 5 gives you how many groups? Well, I've got 20. Okay, and I'm sharing that equally. And I have a divisor of 5 because groups of. All right, but we don't know how many groups. So I'm going to make groups of 5 here until I get to 20. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20. And I've got groups of 5. So now I just have to draw circles around. And I can see that I've got a divisor of 5. I have 20, and I can see I've got four groups. Okay, so that means that our quotient is going to be four. Okay, so just to check my work again, I multiply five by four, gives me 20, or four times five gives me 20. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Please join us again. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe.